Yeah. It's easier than the car, it's easier than the front porch. That's true. It's easier with sitting around with six of you as soon as you talk or yeah. I mean there are people at home at the time. I think one or two, not too many stuff. So. You have to do a lot of paperwork? Yeah, so I said TV's uh, 90% fun and 10% paperwork, and it's actually the other way around in real life. Yeah. So it's T-A-Y-L-O-R, right? Yes, sir. L-E-W-A-N. How about middle name? Curtis. C-U-R-T-I-S. Okay, birthday? So 1441 for another few days. Yes, sir. How about after that? After that, I'll be everywhere. I'll, I'll have a permanent address until probably August. Okay. Um, can I connect to your parents still, or? Not really. Okay. No. But I, I'll have the phone on me, so if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, the other thing is, don't feel like, you know, I'm brushed out here because it's a warm place, table, somewhere we can talk, so don't feel like you're under arrest. And I'm going to take <laughs> you you back or something like that. Taking you back. Door's not locked. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't want you to no. feel otherwise, because you, know, you start walking through that police garage and the police cars, and it's like, I don't want you to start thinking something different than what I told you. No, no worries. All good. So, okay. I, I was working, uh, I think I heard the report. I was actually working a uniform assignment that night, which I do 10, 15 times mm -hmm. a year, but didn't have any direct involvement, but I was working that night. So, so I know kind of what was going on at time. I obviously worked the game, and then I know there's a lot of activity afterwards. Yeah. So I read the report, and all officers talked to the other side, and all these stopped and talked to you, or you stopped, or I don't know how you... I actually, uh, there, I was, like, in, I was in a bar, and someone's like, hey, does these cops, this guy saying you hit him, I was like, I better walk out there before they come in and get me. So I went out and talked to them for a while. Okay. So you, so you worked, you, you worked, uh, or worked, you played in the game. Mm-hmm. They gave you a couple if you want. Yeah. And you got word that someone said you, you hit him. Yeah, so with, well, the whole story is... Yeah, that, that's what I did. Yeah. We... we um, talk, so, so, so do, do this. Go back in time. So the game ends at what time? Because the game ends at 4 right? o'clock, 4 -ish. Yeah. Or maybe 5. There's, there were like 5 hours out there or something like that. Okay. But, um... Do you remember what you did after your... Between yeah. the game and... We uh, yeah. at the South U? Yeah, we had a couple of people over. We had like a little pregame party. My brother was in town. He was in Lansing. Um, my buddy from Arizona was in town. And then, you know, my girlfriend was around, a couple of my teammates, and then some people. So you had pregame. Yeah, something going on. Yeah, something going on, music, alcohol. At, at, uh, at the 1441. Yes, sir. Okay. And so then you leave? And then we, we got a taxi. Well, okay, pregame or postgame? Pre-game, sorry, pre-game for the night. Sorry, I apologize. For the? For the night of festivities. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we were, like, drinking before, like... No, I didn't know you yeah. were. I didn't know if you had other people with Allison. Yeah. the pre-game, so... Uh, so, we go and get a taxi, go to South U. I get out of the car. And so, I know, so, who's in the taxi? Um, Bryce, my brother. Uh, Nick, my friend. What's the... Uh, I'm going off of memory here, so I don't know why I want to jump Nick, is your buddy you're talking Yeah. About? What's his last name? Bennett, B-E-N-N-E-T-T. Okay. And then there's um, my girlfriend, Alex Dilio. So, the like star or Al this Alexandra? Al Alexandra. Okay. And then... What's your last name? I'm sorry. Dilio. D-I-L-E-O. -E okay. And there's probably one or two more in there. I know Schofield is probably with me, but... Is I don't know. Is that a player? Yeah, Michael Schofield. And there's, a, there's a couple others that I don't really remember exactly who was in there. Pack? Pack tally. Yeah, there's a pack tally. Okay. Trying okay. to get everybody we could in there. Right. Probably broke okay. a couple of rules there. And then, and then looking into it. <laughs> and then uh, get out of the car, and I'm paying the guy, because apparently I'm the only guy with money in, in the car. And so everyone kind of gets out, and then I know my brother and Nick were in an altercation with a couple of Ohio State guys getting into it a little bit. And, Who was uh, I'm sorry? Uh, Nick and my brother. Okay. And I kind of shrugged it off. I was like, come on, let's go. Pulled my brother, pulled Nick, and uh, go into the bar. Okay. And this is all, I'm obviously intoxicated, so. 
but not to the point where it would be ridiculous. Okay. <coughs> so what, what, what do you see going on? I just feel like a little pushing, a little shoving, fuck you, your house, oh fuck you, we beat you, that whole thing. And that's, that's something, that's the world I live in all the time. I have a Twitter account and being a captain of a football team, that's something you get very used to very quick. Especially with Ohio teams and Michigan State teams and Notre Dame. I mean, you know, you, you went to Michigan. Yeah. So, pull my brother. My brother's a hothead. He's not going to hit anybody. He's 6'2", like 195. For that's my brother. Yeah. Okay. But he's done. His shoulders are all messed up. He's not hit anybody or whatever happened there. I, I know that's a thing. It's almost like somebody hit somebody. And then Nick is a 6'5", 220-pound guy that probably worked out three times in his life. And he's kind of a soft, skinny, fat guy. Okay. And so they're bowing out, puffing their chest out, kind of grab them. Me and my girlfriend grabbed them, said, let's go. And we go into the brown jug. And then uh, we're in the brown jug for about uh, probably 10, 15 minutes. And then there's a whisper and words going around about me hitting some guy or doing something. And I walk out there and I was, you know, I heard there's a situation. And from what I understand, we, I talked to the police for a while. And towards the end of the whole thing, at first it was, oh, this guy pointing at me. This guy hit, the, hit whoever. Who, okay. who says that? Uh, one of the friends of the guy. We're outside of Poncheros. And I'm like, well, what, 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 what's going on? Start talking about it with the police, and then towards the end of the conversation, it turns into, well, maybe it wasn't him. It could have been him, but probably not. And so then I kind of sat there, I was like, officer, I don't, I can't go back inside. This kind of turned to a little bit much. Your maybe was probably not. Yeah. Something that. Like well, then it was the first was yeah for sure. He pointed me. That's the guy. And I was like, oh, wait, what's going on here? I, I don't understand. And then police officer talked to me. I, I like to think I was cooperative, and then he kind of just kind of let me go after a while. After I was like, so I was just like, so he didn't. He was like, well, it could have been one of his friends, or it could have been somebody else. And then they kept like jumping over things and jumping around things and saying like, maybe it could have been him. I'm not sure. So we're, um, if we're looking at Southview, mm -hmm. I mean, I this. Shooting ourselves. This is, this is all the notes you've taken on this whole thing? No. Oh, oh. everything you're covering? No. <laughs> Just keep using the same pad here. Um, I had a brown jug there, so I'm going to keep it. You still have the street there. All right. Brown jug's right here. Well, you no, know, I'm going to get this north here. Okay. I'll flip it over for you. Uh, just make sure it's wide enough. So that's the street. Let's, let's do the sidewalk here. Brown jug. And Charles right next to it. Yeah. And Star, Starbucks is right next to it. And Nail Salon and Starbucks and all yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. Starbucks is here. And Charles and Salon's in between. I'm not positive on that. So where's the where's going on? Yeah. So, we, so the, the, the outside area, right. so there's, yeah, the there's the door. The outside area is right here. We pull up right here. And the scrum of everything was probably around this area. I, kind of, I walked over, pulled the guys off, and brought them in. And then, well, I think when everyone was talking, we were more around this area. You pulled. I was like, I, I kind of just grabbed my brother. Let's go, come on. He's, he's one of those. Like, he doesn't understand. I'm the like, like, captain of the football team. He doesn't understand like, the things that come with it when you right. lose to rivals. So he hears a guy go, oh, let's go to one, go fuck yourself. My brother's like, no, 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 we don't say that. And like, kind of he But he, he definitely didn't swing on anybody. How do you know that? What's up? How do you know? It's my brother. He's not, he's not a dumbass. So what, what's the most physical, the most physical you got with anyone in that whole situation? Talking about my brother and Nick, gun by the collar. How 
about as far as um, pushing anyone or pushing anyone away from them to separate or? I, I could have pushed somebody. I'm not, like I'm not, obviously I'm not very clear on the whole thing, but I didn't, I didn't hit anybody. It wasn't like that. I, mean, I guess the salt would actually be pushing somebody, wouldn't it? Well, those are circumstances. Yeah, but no, there was, there was no like intent to harm. On my part, it was kind of like, a, maybe it was like, a, all right, let's put my hand here and take him away. But I don't know if I ever had that opportunity or even decided to hit anybody at the pretty crowded street. You, okay, you didn't have, please say it one more time so I understand you. I didn't hit anybody or like, I might have put my hand on him, pushed him off or got in the middle of it and said, let's go. How, how certain are you with your memory when you say you were drinking that night? So how certain are you that you didn't hit them? I'm 100% positive. Okay. I, would, I would remember somebody... I guess that's what I'm trying to ask. If mm -hmm. you can definitely remember... Um, you can speak from memory as opposed to knowing what you would normally do or what you think I would you did. Or, I can absolutely speak from memory that I didn't hit anybody. Okay. The only thing that I'm not... Sir, enough is the, you know, the gray areas. Like, did you put your hands on anybody? And I put my hand on him and say, all right, that's enough. Push this guy out of the way. Grab my brother and Nick. That whole thing. But there was never a open, uh, open fist, closed fist, whatever. How, um... You had a way of judging how much you had to drink that night or how you were feeling? At that point, probably not drunk, but I mean, probably couldn't have drove, driven, so I took a taxi. Huh. So, you know, I, I wasn't, it was like what, I mean, you probably had the report, it's probably like 10 o'clock at night or 9.30 or something like that or 11. Yeah, it's so it's just after midnight. It's just after midnight. Yeah. So, I mean, probably not that as drunk as I would get 2 a.m., but... Yeah. But I was, I was more drunk than... I was, stuck, I was functional and I was, I was, okay. you know, the, I don't know, I'm trying to like watch what I say, I want to say something stupid and then you put it in the thing and it's like, well, you did say this. So, okay. no, I, just, I apologize for not being clear. Okay, no, no, I mean, um, yeah, so going back to the way I was asking that, um, you're saying I know what I, you're saying I'm, I wasn't um, so drunk that I didn't know what I did. Mm -hmm. um, if someone said you fell. Someone said I fell? If, if someone said that. Oh, then I would say I didn't fall. How do you know that? Well, because I don't remember my shoulder being cold. Uh, I'm, I, I know, like, if you were to fall out of your chair right now, would you remember that in a yes. couple of days? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. I, that, that's what I'm getting at. Oh, yeah, so if I were to the chair, or like if so I were... So you're saying you got a clear memory and you know yeah. what happened and what didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I'm not clear about is the, the, the normal things you're usually not clear about. Like if I picked up my phone and put it down, and it stood across the uh, table, and you probably wouldn't remember that in a couple of days. Right. That's, that's what I'm not clear about. Okay. But the, the, the big things, like hitting somebody or putting my, like, you know, doing something physical with somebody, I would, I would, I would remember that, even throughout the night. If it was 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Do you remember what started at the, the moment it started? What exactly? Oh, it, I, know, I, was, I know you're talking about some, some things happening. Right. Did you hear a certain thing or see a certain thing that said, hey, there's something going on? I was paying, I was paying the bill. I get out of the car, and then my, I'd always see my brother and Nick just kind of like bowing up to these three or four guys. I was like, all right, kind of walked up there, I was like, kind of, let's go. Because we're right to the bar that we're going into. Do you know if those guys got hit at that point? Not that I know of. I mean, there was definitely pushing and shoving going on. One guy might have fell. Because I do remember a guy on the ground and getting up. How about as far as who was involved in, in, in that situation? As far as um, your brother and Nick versus other people, was it mainly? Three or four other guys, your brother and Nick, or is it other people involved too? 
I think there's probably other people involved. The ones I remember, though, was the ones I was focused on was making my brother. I mean, there's obviously diehard Michigan fans around here. Right. Seeing a bunch of guys in Ohio State get up, probably want to get into the mix. So that probably, probably could have been the case. What's, um, if I left you here right now and talk to your brother? What's that? If I left you in the room here for a few minutes to talk to your brother, is that fair? That's fine. Let me phone call to him. Mm -hmm. And that way I can send him talking to you independently and have him hand, you know, you, you say, hey, this is what Monroe asked me and this is what we talked about, and then I call him. So at least Haley would basically say this is what he said and this is what you know, he being you and this is what your brother said independently without talking to one another. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. What's his name? His number is...
The brother saying it's pushing going back and forth. Right. He's saying he's involved in physical confrontation with this guy. Uh-huh. There's at least two guys saying they got assaulted. Two guys got assaulted? Right. Oh so is your do, do you do you know do you know who punched one of those two guys? So you uh, so you kind of asking me now? You're asking me if my brother hit a guy? Well, your brother's already saying back and forth is going on, so I'm not worried about that. Does that make so him a suspect? Well, he's telling me how it started. Right. He's telling me it went back and forth, so I don't know who's a suspect to who there. Mm -hmm. Because yes, yeah, see, that's where I'd, I'd be a little. I sound like I'm advocating for you on yours, but if you saw your brother punch somebody, then how do you come in and say, yeah, well, I didn't do it, but my brother did. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is, well, yeah. I would never throw my brother on the bus right. anyway. It's my brother. Right. Well, for us to tell the truth, that's, that's a problem, too. you got, you got to tell the truth. You can't just tell partial truth. Right. But your brother's saying, I'm, I'm back and forth with the guy. Uh-huh. Um, he's saying he doesn't uh, recall any specific contact with any other guy. How about, um, what's that guy's name? Nick Bennett. 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 I can't see Nick hit anybody. Okay. So your brother said. Mm -hmm. That's what he said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe he's kind of a... He's a is he a ball player? Or no, he's my buddy. Did, did you see your brother involved in any, alt, any physical altercation other than with one person? Yeah. Okay, so there's multiple people involved in Absolutely. That. But so that's, I mean, the guy, I got three guys trying, my little brother. I'm going to be like, okay, let's... Let's back up, and that's when a push came where I got moved up people off and a guy fell. So, I mean, okay. And he's already given you a statement on that, about, so. Yep. Hmm. So, and again, you know, what's, what's the report? Yeah, I don't want to get, I don't want, like, I don't want to get anybody in trouble right. at all. You yeah, know right. what I'm saying? Right. So brother, your, yeah. brother's, your brother's saying... I, I made fun of someone, uh -huh. and I egged him on. He came at me. You said he tripped, right? The guy just slipped or something yep. like that and got in front of him? Yep. All right. He said, I egged him on. He said, uh, he came at me, and I can't say for sure I didn't make first physical contact, but I know I was some distance away. He came at me, and I believe he made first physical contact with me, and I pushed him back and went from there. Pushing him. So if that guy pushed my brother first, and he'd be in trouble as well. So if it's, it's complicated in the if sense of if they press charges and then we press charges, then it's just okay. Everyone's press charges. Okay, you press charges. You want to get all the party with it or something like that. Oh, if it, if it came out clear, if it's him making it on, then he got physical, and then it went back and forth and escalated, and no one ended up in the hospital, no one pulled out a knife. It's probably not going very far. Right. Let me give you this man charges. Probably not. It's not clear happen. enough. It's it's it's. And again, if it's verbal here and it gets physical there and keeps escalating to some degree without going out of control right. and it's not clear cut and both people get participation in, in how this um, circumstances or situation developed, it probably wouldn't get off to us. Right. If you're coming out and starting to punch people and, and, and basically assaulting or separating and then, hey, let me get one last punch in, mm -hmm. that's going to be a problem. Because the example I think of you said is, and I talk about like there's this party this summer where somebody's smoking, blowing smoke in somebody's face, it's like slaps the cigarette out of their mouth. Right. And then in response, don't don't touch me, then there's a fight after that. And it went nowhere. They didn't, because by slapping the cigarette out of their mouth, mm -hmm. they started it, even though they, so it's very similar, the retaliation kind of thing. Okay. All right, but I know it's, it's not making this thing go away. That's what you want to just be able to walk away from here and just be done with it. But I don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, just, I just don't want to get. I know I didn't hit anybody. I didn't hit anybody in the stomach. Perfect. Right. That, and, that's, that's, and if you want to see in a player, your brother and your brother saying that I got involved in a physical confrontation where I pushed someone. That's an assault. Uh -huh. He's saying it's not separating, so I'm pushing someone. Uh -huh. But this guy's uh, almost certain. Yes. So he's already saying this is how I got physical with him. So let's separate the two. If, if you can tell the truth about yourself and your brother's already telling the truth about the physical contact and you're not laying him out, so to speak. Uh -huh. so, so I guess it's really two parts. I, I talked to your brother and I got his statement. Two guys are saying he's the guy. He's the guy that assaulted me, not your brother. Mm -hmm. And basically there's an allegation that it's happening after the fact, after things are calmed down. It's an assault, not a separation. I get that clarified, 
We'll take the U of M football player out of it. I want to do that. All right. Absolutely. So. Okay. Well. So that's, you know, we're not trying to make any more complicated things. <clears throat> no worries. So, you know, if you came out to separate something or not. Mm-hmm. So. Absolutely. All right. So it sounds like you got tomorrow afternoon that's available, if that's a possibility. Oh, yeah. We won't make any phone calls for today. And if all this can get resolved up front, it makes it cleaner. And again. We'll tell you, you'll have trouble with a test if you know for sure you, you blindly uh, assaulted someone during this melee. Yeah. Okay. All right. And as much as, yeah. If you I, say, I, I, yeah. But as much as you think that the camera would clear stuff up, to me it just, it's, it doesn't make, it's not like, oh, we can see exactly what happened. It's right. not like you would think where. Yeah, I'm thinking of a camera. I'm thinking of if there's a thing here and then you right. see what's going on. And yeah, but the crowd's coming in and whatnot. Right. So, and also, um, if you got any questions that you're not, you know, that you don't like, uh -huh. you can clarify that for you. You say, hey, when I separate, when you ask me that, I know what I was doing. So he'll say, okay, let me fix that or let's change the wording a little bit. So if you think it's got a greatness to it because, you know, you're separating and, you know, Right. Did you put your hands on that guy? Wouldn't be a good question. Yeah, probably wasn't. Okay. Did, did um? Did you drive down here then? Yeah, you drove down here. Okay, awesome. You're kind of at his. No, he's back with him again. Right. Don't go kill it right there. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll talk. Awesome. No, no, we're still. Yeah, we'll definitely be in touch. Do you have my phone still? Yeah, it's right up. Awesome. Gentlemen, so we'll we'll. Pencil you in without any hard commitment for tomorrow afternoon. So we'll, 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 yeah, let me talk. To